Hi guys, it's Peg, and today I am going to do a little bit of uh, alcohol ink. <coughs> Pardon me. One of the things people have been asking me about was how I was creating the vivid backgrounds on the artist trading cards I was sharing. I've got some UPO paper. This happens to be from Hobby Lobby. Uh, it typically goes for $10. That makes it rather expensive. You can buy it in packs on Amazon and uh, from other places like Dick Blick and I'll put some links in for you if that's what you want to do but um, this UPO is kind of a key component here let me see if I can adjust the camera just a tad okay um, you can use other coated paper what you want is something that's non-absorbent and I'm going to take this is the stencil that everybody seem to like the most which is a uh, stencil girl product which is s346 from weeble and i'm just going to place that here on my upo and i probably need to get something for this section up here too because i don't want to miss all of that. So I have another Stencil Girl stencil. This is a Seth After one and it is S215 I think I like that area there. So I'll put that down up here at the top. Then I have this other piece. Um, I have some Tracy Batista. This is like a mask from Tracy. And I have this one. Um, they actually come like this but you can take these out of here if you want to um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I don't know that I want to do that I'm going to take this other one which is a heart shape which is out of another one of her stencils I'm going to put that down on there. Now, the um, ink will run underneath a little bit. I'm not too concerned with that. I like the effect. I'm going to start by lightly spraying. Let's see. On uh, What do I want? I want a yellow if I can find one. On this one, I'm going to use this buttercup. And this is an alcohol mix. It's alcohol ink and alcohol. And I'm just going to lightly mist that a little bit over here. I think I'm going to use a couple different colors on that. So let me get another. This is forget me not an alcohol. And I kind of like that to dry off just a little bit. like that to stick down a little bit better. It wants to curl. And that just gives kind of a background color for where I'm going. And then I have my uh, alcohol ink refill bottles and I'm just going to start with those. I'm going to add those into the background here randomly and it's going to take a while to dry I'll come back and show you that later uh, this is rust which I think is appropriate this looks kind of industrial so I like that rusty color Rusty brown. Then let's use a little cranberry. Just trying to drop it in where I haven't been already. You can see it is running underneath the stencil here. And that's okay. It'll still give a cool effect once it's done. Let's 
what's going on there. Okay, I think I'm liking that. I think I want to add some of this cranberry over here on this one also. And to make this one look a little grungier, I'm going to add a little bit of watering can. which is kind of a gray. And that did not want to spread real well, so let me grab a sponge. Some of these some of these inks get a little bit thicker like this one. And I don't want it to just take over. So I'm just going to sponge a little bit. Give it that kind of grungy industrial look there. Okay. And on this one, that cranberry has really spread out now. And I think I want to go towards that uh, forget me not blue. run a little bit. It's not spreading a great deal. It might just be the fluidity of the ink. So for that I'm going to grab a little bit of alcohol. Just sprinkle a little alcohol on there to get it to flow a bit. It's got a big puddle right there. So I'm going to dab that because it's sitting on top of the stencil. I don't really want that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let this dry and we're going to come back to it later. Just trying to decide if I want a little bit. This is a Copic. Uh, it doesn't have, it has a number which is R39 Garnet. I like that deep red. I might have to put a drop or two of that in just to brighten this up a bit. Okay, I'm going to leave it alone. And we'll come back to that again later. But I typically, you know, either turn the fan on or let it dry overnight, but it takes a while. It takes a while for this stuff to um, actually set up. And let me show you. I was making artist trading cards out of some of these so you can see What we're talking about here. I was trying to find the one that had more background on it. Um, here we go. This is what it becomes then is something like this. Okay. So I'll show you some final shots and that's it for today. Thanks and Bye for now.